Hello, hello. Today I want to talk about skin health. And the reason why I want to talk about it is because we oftentimes see in the physical reality of people talking about, you know, what they're doing internally, you know, detoxing their body internally, taking sea moss internally, you know, even consuming maybe key limes or citrus fruits or juicing or smoothies or whatever, right? But think about this here, a lot of times we're overlooking the largest organ on the body, which is the skin. What you put on your skin penetrates inside of your body. I haven't been talking about this here uh, part of help in a while because I took a pause off of my website and creating products and everything. And on next Monday the 1st, I'm gonna reopen my website and have everything fully stocked for everybody. But I want to talk about the importance of skin health and what to look out for. Even if you don't purchase from me, it's certain things you really need to look out for with your skin regimen because you are absorbing those things inside of you. And the first thing I want to talk about, because there's two things actually that you want to pay attention to when it pertains to your skin, whether it is your soap, your deodorant, you know, your detergent or whatever is affecting you. Hi, Diamond. Thank you for being here. So we're gonna talk about the soaps first. Soaps, the two things that you wanna pay attention to, well, I'm gonna say three. First, you wanna be able to read every ingredient that is on the label, right, as far as soaps. If you can't pronounce it, if you have numbers behind it, that's kinda like a telltale sign that that's kinda like a chemical, like, right? And so you wanna pay attention to sodium hydroxide in your soap. Sodium hydroxide is known as lye, right? Lye is the same ingredient that you use in oven cleaner, right? So for, especially for women, you know, if you washing with soap and you putting it in, you know, your, in your personal areas, whatever, that can knock off the pH balance of your vagina, right? And so your vagina is supposed to be acidic in order to, you know, destroy bacteria and everything, right? And so if you're putting lye, which is very alkaline, which is also oven cleaner. This is probably why you're constantly having uh, yeast infections, you know. This is probably why you are um, burning down there after you wash down there, you know. Really and truly, to be honest with you, you just really supposed to be washing the, the parts in the front by the hair. You don't put the soap in between there. You just really just need water because it's self-cleaning and it's supposed to be pulling bacteria out if it's in balance, if it's in the proper balance. But the lie can knock you out of that proper balance, right? Or those with sensitive skin. Yeah, hi, just me. Is African black so good? No. Good, yes, as far as ingredient, but that leads me to the next um, thing that I wanted to share with you. Lie is something we're going to ignore. We're going to ignore things that we have numbers and lo long words that we can't pronounce, but we're going to pay attention to whether or not or know whether or not if it's pH balanced and black African soap is not. It's really alkaline, okay? We, we go to, these are some go-tos, uh, Black African Soap and Dr. Bronner, Bronner, actually Dr. Bronner has the sodium hydroxide inside of there, the lye, right? And Black African Soap, the pH balance of it is really alkaline. So you got to really be careful if you're using that down there. Now, this is not just limited to using it down there for ladies our skin because remember i said your vagina is slightly is, is aesthetic right but our skin the largest organ on our body is on the aesthetic side like right so if you're putting like something with lie on it like the dr browners like the black um soap on your skin now your skin has to buffer in order to get back down to its proper ph balance and in that process, you might have dry, flaky skin. You might be irritating the area of the skin, the surface of it. And so now it's not as smooth and healthy looking and vibrant looking and youthful looking as it should. So those two things need to be in balance for soap. You know, we have a lot of people, and I'll just perfectly be honest with you, I'm just the type of person that all commercial soaps, uh, they irritated my skin. 
You know, they was knocking my pH off of balance. It was giving me rashes, had me itching and stuff like that, right? And so we have a lot of people in the physical reality that want, you know, to be creators and create things. And in the beginning, this pertained to me, you know, because I was so, so um, tired of the commercial soaps destroying my skin until I was like, you know what, I'm going to create my own. And so in the beginning, you have to do your research. So in the beginning, I was researching and learning for me. And I started this journey out for me and my family, you know, and it never was about me actually making or you know, creating my Just Be brand. It was because I wanted my, me and my family skin to be healthy. And what I learned, I learned so much and I want to share that with you because in the beginning, I didn't know, oh, it's supposed to be pH balanced. Oh, hydro, I mean, the sodium hydroxide is too alkaline. That's a lot. Oh, that's oven cleaner that I was putting on my body. Oh, and so I, I started doing research just like I did in my health journey with the herbs. That's why I do detoxes and all too. But I did research and I formulated products with herbs that don't have the um, sodium hydroxide <laughs> that are in a proper pH balance for the skin. And it provides the minerals that the body needs since the skin is an organ. Also allowing the skin to detox you inside of your body. Because if you notice, if you pay attention, really there's some, some people in the physical reality that have like uh, bowel issues where they're not regular. <laughs> you have so many lymph nodes and, and, and so much of a porous um, texture on your skin that your soaps is being absorbed. So it's making the body clog up. It's making the body toxic. If you pay attention to your body after you take a bath, you will learn how, how it, it's affecting you, you know? And so we be, we be drawn to things that sud, like, right? So when you see that it's sudding up, you know that they have chemicals inside of that to make it sud, right? But think about this here. Prior to commercial soaps, we really resulted or used oils because oils, oils pull, right? Oils draw things out. Like, like for example, of uh, infection down there, oil could pull an infection out of there. Like, you know, you ever heard of people that do oil pulling? Oil pulling in their mouth, like to brush their teeth? They're killing bacteria by oil pulling. So you, when you're looking at your ingredients, you want to make sure that they have oils that can pull instead of toxic ingredients with numbers and in words that you can't even probably pronounce you know, or don't know what it is. And then with the sodium hydroxide that they use a lot, they'll, they'll change the name of it and do a prefix on it. Like they'll put cocoa hydroxide or things like that. That's just letting you know to just put maybe some coconut oil inside of the formula with the hydroxide. So it's not always gonna be listed as sodium hydroxide. So it's kind of like, they could change that word, <laughs> that name so many times to fool the consumer. And then now you still get in the lie. You think, oh no, it's cocoa or it's coconut or whatever you assume that word to be. I'm telling you this because your health matters as far as this matrix is concerned. Your skin matters as far as this matrix is concerned. You tear up that layer off of your skin now these chemicals are inside of you and now you could you could consume all of the sea moss you want but every day you take a bath you put in everything that you think that that sea moss is drawing out you could drink all of the detoxes all of the key limes that you want as soon as you take a bath you're putting the chemical back inside of you and let's say for example you like to take hot baths which i don't suggest hot baths because that's going to open up them pores that's going to bring in all of that toxic um, ingredient in that soap plus whatever kind of tap water you have in your state in your state with its chemicals or its calcium or whatever it's penetrating in those open pores immediately 
Just think about it like this. We always think back of, okay, what, what we did before this. Before we had these hot, um, hot steamy baths and these hot water heaters, we took baths in springs of water, right? Lukewarm water, cold water, right? Closing the pores, allowing you to keep your natural oils inside of your body. <laughs> and not putting any other toxic ingredients inside because the pores are closed, like right? But you're still able to clean yourself. So just be mindful of those things when purchasing your soap. I don't recommend, and I'm not saying this just because I created this here product line, because <laughs> all is well with me. Y'all you, know all is mental with me. I'm not a salesperson here, but I will say to you all, I don't recommend any commercial soap, any at all <laughs> any i never went to a walmart to a whole food store to a trader joe's and i've i've spent money i've spent money doing my research because it, this was my journey for me and my family this was my journey out of love in the beginning right just for me and my my boys my my husband at that time and so I don't recommend any of them. I ain't seen none of them on the shelf after reading all of them, after trying all of them, that really was beneficial. You want to get to somebody that's, that's not really in, and it's almost like this here too. In the beginning, some products do be good. They be homemade and you know, they be made out of love and they be having the pH balance and they don't have the lie. And then maybe that person sells off that particular um, name to a company, to a business or whatever, and it's no longer them. And so then they start to add the chemicals. You'll find that in that, that brand called Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture did that. It used to be kind of good, but then it got really, really jam-packed with all kinds of chemicals. And so we got to get over the idea, and I'm telling you this here, not just because of my Brand, but we got to kind of get over the idea that this sudsy stuff, this big puffy sud when I'm washing my hands and this big puffy sud that's inside of my head because I'm, you know, washing it, you know, it's telling me that, oh, I'm cleaning. Like even the suds, the, um, <laughs> the suds that accumulate when we're brushing our teeth, oh, these suds. These suds are telling me that my teeth are clean now. No, that is farthest from the truth. What the suds is telling you is that, oh, there's a chemical inside of there. So my, my soap, my soap has that, that texture. It's a light, it's the lightest sud, but it is not a chemical. You're not gonna get the little puffy little cloud when you do that with my brand, but that lets you know that they ain't got no chemical called sodium hydroxide in there. That's like oven cleaner because you, I don't care how dirty you was in that day, you don't need no oven cleaner, especially in your vagina. I don't care if you was loosey goosey with all of the men in the neighborhood, you still don't need no oven cleaner to clean your vagina. <laughs> so we gotta get mindful of our skin too, because it is the largest organ on your body. And so with, with my health journey, that's what I went for. When I was eating, if it pertains to detoxing, I want the healthiest, the most powerful superfood. Don't give me, in my mind, this is how I think. Don't give me don't, the seeded, I mean the seedless thing. Give me the seeded one. Don't give me the grapefruit, no. Give me the, 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 the key lime instead. The seeded key lime. Because in comparison, the, my seeded key lime gonna have way more um, vitamin C inside of it. It's gonna get rid of that lactic acid buildup inside of it way better than the grapefruit. Grapefruit ain't nothing wrong with it. Still good, vibrating at a different frequency. But if I'm gonna be dealing with something in my mind when I was on my health journey, that's what I wanted to deal with. And so I used that same thought process with my, um, my brand. I put in the herbs that are beneficial for the skin. I wanna get the super fruit, so to speak, inside of the, my um my brand like the super fruits like the key limes so you're gonna find that i have key lime oil inside of it like mango type oils inside of it you know things that are going to be beneficial and keep the skin in its proper ph balance so you could always have useful healthy looking skin you know they say black don't crack she it'll crack 
I've seen it crack before. You don't take care of it. Oh, it'll get the crack a lacking. <laughs> so these are some things you got to be mindful of with your skin. And then now I'm going to talk about deodorant next because I have that on my... Let me check the comments before I go too far because I wasn't paying attention. Let's see. Um, hello, princess. Thank you for being here. Hi. Hi. Okay, cool. Greetings, beautiful people. Hi, Angel. Thank you for welcoming me. Yeah, no problem, babe. So I talked about, I answered that. Is African soap good for those with sensitive skin? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Steve, for the rose. I appreciate you, babe. Good afternoon from Long Island. Okay, New York. Hey, Ralph. Thank you for being here. Hey, creators. You're welcome. Yes, you're right. What's good for dry skin? Hello, hello. What's good for dry skin? <laughs> it's not going to be just one thing. It's going to be, a, like I said, it's going to be like a soap or a lotion that doesn't have a lot of chemicals in there and that is pH balanced for the skin. It's pH balance. It's, it, the dry skin is letting you know that your skin, whatever you're using on your skin right now, is not in the proper pH balance. And look, let me show you. Wait, let me pull something out that I use in my product. To, uh, well, well, of course I have um, oils on it because I, I work with the products and I use this here to do the pH balance. You could go, if you don't know what I'm talking about, about pH balance. You can go online and order these little strips here, these pH balance, potential of hydrogen, like um, uh, test strips. And on the back, it's kind of oily, y'all, because, you know, when I have my gloves on, the oil from my um, soaps and stuff get on here. But it on the back, just kind of like a swimming pool. You know how you test a swimming pool to see if it's in the proper balance? You can get one of these here, and you can make some suds or put a little... Um, or put it actually on top if your soap soap is like a liquid soap you can stick it in there and see the ph balance of your soap and it'll let you know what i'm telling you is the truth if you don't have a liquid soap and you just got a whole one just sit it on top just let it sit on top you know like rough it up a little bit and then let it sit on top of like your bar and then look at the color of it it never tell you right there they'll tell you right there that it's not in balance they're not <laughs> i don't know i already did it they're not I done tried every last one of them. They're not. <laughs> so, yeah. So, the dry skin is just telling you that your soap or your lotion or whatever you are using is knocking your pH of your skin out of balance. Yes, oil pulling. Oil pulling is like when you, um, you know, put coconut oil, for example. And, coke, and you got to pay attention. So, like, coconut oil, for example, is high pH. That's why a lot of people don't like dealing with coconut oil putting a coconut oil on the skin because by itself i'm not saying that it's bad for the skin but by itself it's a, a ph about 8.0 right and so if you're slightly acidic your your skin is slightly acidic that means you're going to be under the seven right that's what, anything underneath 7.0 is you know slightly acidic and the skin should be roughly in the five like right so People that only put coconut oil, yeah, in the beginning it'll be cool, but then they constantly put it on. They constantly put it on because now the skin is not in its proper pH balance no more. So, because I actually have a lotion that has coconut oil in it, but I, I also put other oils inside of it to knock down the pH balance of the coconut oil so it could be properly used for the skin. Now, a lot of people that create these, like, you know, they don't do that. They do it because it smell good. Yeah, y'all, everybody likes it for it to smell good and it gotta have those little suds, those little bubbles, you know? But it's more to it than that. It's really more to it than that. And so some people with coconut oil, it'll clog up the pores, you know? You know, because it actually needs a little bit of aestheticness to it, you know? To a little acid to it so to speak to tone it down that's why it's clogging up the pores and a lot of people don't know this and don't understand this yeah it's cool coconut oil is really antifungal antibacterial antimicrobial all of that beautiful stuff this goes hand in hand with all of that water you know the high waters you know like where you going like come on back down you know your body gotta still buffer that water you know that high alkaline water back down 
you know, back to the seven point three, you know, because certain parts of your body is, you know, acidic and other parts are alkaline. Like, so it's, it's, it's cool to oil pool with, with coconut oil because your saliva is already alkaline, like, right? So that's cool. But you put it in like coconut oil down in your day day where, you know, where it's supposed to be slightly acidic. Yeah, it might feel like, oh yeah, it's, it's oil pulling, you know. But a uh, couple of days later, now you've knocked off the pH balance completely in your vagina because the vagina was supposed to be acidic and the coconut oil was too alkaline for it. So, you know, we just, we just if, if you don't know this stuff, you back and forth in the hospital. You're back and forth in the hospital for yeast infections. You're back and forth in the hospital for rashes and stuff. So find somebody that you know that is maybe trustworthy to, that can make the product for you and that you and that you know that it's in pH in the proper pH balance or you do your own research or you start making your own products or whatever, right? <laughs> I'm telling you all this out of love and I'm telling you all this because there is hope for if you don't have that type of person, there's hope. Monday my website will be open. And this is this is really why I retired. I did early retirement to go into do my thing that I know that I'm passionate about. And this is what I'm really passionate about. And that's why I'm telling you all about it because there were so many days in my years and my older years, well, younger years rather, uh, where I was back and forth to the doctor just for, you know, like skin issues, just like for rashes, just like, you know, for not going to the bathroom, be feeling like I was called up or whatever, like what the hell? And it was what I was putting on my body. Not just what I was putting in, it was what I was putting on my body. Because yeah, you want to smell good. And even with perfumes, for example, and even to this day, I, I really don't wear perfumes per se. I mostly use essential oils, you know, on my skin. But I would never, if I like, and I have like four or $500 perfume, a lot of it. And if I use my four $500 perfumes, I'm spraying it in my braids. I'll spray it on my hat. I'll spray it on the clothes. Stop putting perfume directly on your neck, on your skin. Stop that and teach your children to stop that too. Because if you know, like I know what they put in soaps, if you know, like I know what they put inside of perfumes, you would not put that on directly on your skin no more. And I promise you, I'm not coming here for no fear or no sales or whatever. Because I have an abundance mindset. An abundance mindset. I'm coming here out of love to teach you. Don't don't uh, tell your children too. Don't put no cologne and perfume on your skin and on your neck. Stop. Because that's a habit. You, you, you do this habitual thing and then you keep on doing it for years. It might be cute, yeah, it might smell good, but you, you're making your skin, your largest organ toxic. Now what you eating? So now you gotta eat something <laughs> all the time. Like you gotta be on detox mode all the time to allow that kidney, the liver to filter that stuff and get it out of you. And so your CMOS, your CMOS is working all the time. Especially if, okay, you don't put that on your body and you don't want to change your diet and then you want to just sneak and have the sea moss. The sea moss got to work on what you put in, the soap that you put on your body and the perfume that you just decided, or the cologne that you just decided to put it on your skin too. It's just like too much work. It's too much. You're doing too much. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, okay. I just answered that. Should I use coconut oil down there? Not by itself. Not by itself. Where can we get your products? My website, uh, my link is in my bio. Uh, it's not fully stocked. I only have a few right now because that's what I'm working on now. On Monday, um, I only have a few rather on the website of each item. But on Monday, Monday will be the day on the 1st of August when I go live with everything. Everything will be fully stocked. And then you can buy or purchase, you know, look around, look at the ingredients and everything you want to do. Do all your research, baby. My stuff is 100. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Wow. I thought Nubian and Dr. Pranas were good. No. And then they have, they have this other one too called Naive. 
It's supposed to be natural. You know, you throw a word on there and trick everybody. You know, the masses could easily be tricked because they'll put natural on it, all natural, you know, organic. Nowadays, they got organic lollipops, you know, like what the hell, how did, how did the lollipop get organic? Where did it grow from? You know, so you really gotta really educate yourself about things because they'll trick you for money because they know everybody leaning toward things that is more like more, more health conscious and people are leaning to consciousness. So when you lean into that, you're going to be on the journey of wanting that and you see that word natural. Oh yeah, yeah, I got to get that kind of organic. Yeah, this the organic kind. And it'd be a couple of dollars more, but just, just toxic as the, the regular one. <laughs> for real. You see, no, no, look at them ingredients though. Look at them ingredients. Stay off the oven cleaner. Yes, Justin. Yeah. It's like that. The Evian bottle water. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. No, I wasn't by the pool today, Justin. I didn't go out there today. Let's see. Oh, you got love for all of us. <laughs> That's funny. You, it got better after what you said, Nubin? Even since, wait, yes, I stopped putting it on my skin. Oh, okay. And then your skin got better. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, Dr. Bronner's. Oh, okay. Somebody already did it. Um, not heard news. Dr. Bronner's pH is nine and it's too high. See? Right there in the comments. People doing it. People catching on. People understanding this here thing. So just be mindful. Be so mindful. Be so mindful, babe. Let's see. Justin said it's 7.0 to 7.4. Oh, okay. Justin know about that. Justin said, I bet you smell good. That's funny. That is so funny. Let's see. I will use and sell your product for you. It looks really good and I would love to have. Oh, okay. Okay. That sounds cool. Thank you, babe. I appreciate that. Bearer of risk. Okay. <laughs> so they're not good. I don't know what, um, what you're asking right there. Not her news. Just me. Let's see. Hummingbirds are my favorite creatures also since childhood. Oh, that's beautiful. I love my little hummingbirds. They was over there in the bag this morning. Oh my God, you got super fruit in there. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do because I believe, I, well, I know that it is important for the skin. So I put what I believed and I knew that was going to help me and my family. Like I say, this was something that I just did for my family. And I'm excited about my line. Um, and I just wanted to share it with the world. I decided to share it with the world and I decided to stop sleeping on me and all the knowledge that I've obtained and all of the years, you know, that I knew about health and wellness when I was on the journey to just save myself, you know? And so since I saved myself and I feel energetic, I feel alive, I have no health issues. I used to wear even glasses and I don't wear glasses no more. I used to have bad bad acne i don't have that no more i used to i was gaining so much of freaking weight you know because i was full of shit i don't have that problem no more and so i want to help people my reflections as within so without i believe that we go through things in our physical reality to be in a position to help others and so every time I learn every time I can reach back and help other people, so shall it be. Because what it does, it just makes me feel good. You know, what it does is it increases my frequency. What it does is, is, is keep me in alignment with my passion. The most beautiful thing in the world for me <laughs> is when, when I can do things and I can impact other people's lives. When they email me, even just with my simple consultations, just talking to them on the phone, the wisdom that I can give to them because of my spiritual journey. <laughs> that touches my heart. That makes me feel good. And it makes me feel better than I ever felt in my old job, which was a career type job in transmission engineering. You know, so <laughs> it's way more rewarding than that. 
to be able to help people, man. It's so rewarding. So I do what I do out of love, and and, and I, I got to actually go on there because in the beginning, I really just want everybody to be able to try it at least just one time to see how good it will make their body feel. And I want to go on there and, you know, kind of adjust the price for the fact that a lot of people just don't have a lot of money per se, you know, at least for, for the first couple of days, you know, to put a little sale on everything. And so the people could at least try it, you know, because the, the, the herbs that I have inside of them would help clean out the blood, you know, help with circulation, help with more useful skin. And I just, I just really want to be a blessing to, to people. You know, some people just, just don't, don't have it. And I, I'm, I'm saying that not to down, down my product because my product is top notch, you know, but I'm saying this and I'm only going to do this here because of the simple fact that these are my reflections. And I remember there was a moment in my life when I didn't have it. I wanted to, you know, like my skin per se used to be itching and, and I was twitching and just wondering what the hell was going on, you know, and, you know, I was knowledgeable about the ingredients and at the same time I was a, a young you know young lady who didn't even have no money to be buying the more expensive one give me that give me that six pack you know of that that caress you know give me that that the nine pack six or nine I have many they put in that big old jumbo pack give me that one that was cheap or give me that zest you know oh it smelled good give me that you know, and you just go for what you could afford at the time and was so readily, easily available. So I wanted to make it easily affordable for people to at least try and for the duration of the have that they have that one uh, particular bottle and at least they'll have a good quality of sleep that night. At least their skin won't be itching and, and they, they'll have bowel because it's going to help you eat release. It's going to help you circulate. It's going to help you with your lymphatic flow. It's going to help you not be full of shit is what I'm saying here. <laughs> so at least somebody, you know, my reflection will be able to be helped in that way. And I feel like, you know, that's just my gift to, to the masses, you know, because everyone is being pushed out. That's how I look at it. And, I'm, and when I help them, I'm helping myself. That's how I look at it. And I, I'm saying this is just limited time because, you know, prices for me has increased. But in the beginning, you know, to get it out there, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be on sale and it's going to be um, affordable for everybody. But you got to keep in mind that, that you know, things have increased. So with time, it's going to go back up. But things have increased, you know, for me. Shipping, you know, I'm in another state now. So now I'm got, I got to find like new vendors, you know, here in the state. And so I can't find some of them. So I'm really dealing with, I was just told just to get labels yesterday. It was going to be $45 just to get the labels to put on my bottles from the um, print company that's down there to ship it over here. So it's like, ugh. So I'm not gonna be able to do that all the time, but I'm, I'm doing it out of love because I want y'all to try these products. I want your family, you know, to, to, to not wonder why they're so tensed up in their body sometimes. Because sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, but sometimes it's because of them, their chemicals, you know, making you not be able to reproduce and stuff and, and messing with your internal organs, you know. You gotta be mindful of that. Even with our detergent, for example, which is the next thing I wanted to share, you know, detergent, if you pay attention to the ingredients, it's not even on the boxes of the, some of the detergents. Some of them, you got to go to the website. That's how toxic they stuff is. You got to go to the website to log in to find the ingredients because they ain't even about to put that toxic stuff on there. You know, the dishwashing liquid, you know, I would recommend, you know, you're getting you some of them little gloves to, you know, wash your hands inside i mean wash your dishes with gloves on because when you're doing your dishes all of that is penetrating inside of you for a duration of time that hot water plus that ajax if you're using the ajax that palm olive and all that all of those things have really chemicals in there that's stripping you that's stripping you of everything that you have right and putting inside some extra toxic ingredients for you when you pay attention to your deodorants for example that aluminum the aluminum going inside. You have a house, a gang of um, lip noise right underneath your armpit. The aluminum being is, you know, absorbed inside of you. Baking soda, which is very hot. We use, I used to use, or still do in my other house, use baking soda to increase the alkalinity of the swimming pool. So baking soda is too alkaline to be underneath the um, armpit if it is not buffered down and making it at a proper aesthetic range that the armpit is supposed to be. So even for people that have odors and stuff underneath their arm, it's mostly because the lip noise are clogged up 
and they they, they have this deodorant that they're using that is not the proper pH balance. And what happens? That stuff gets absorbed inside of like your abdominal cavity, like, right? And so, you know, you're wondering why maybe your shoulder hurt. You're wondering why you feel stuffed or whatever. It's because of the ingredients inside of that because your lip noise got to flow and, and circulate, but you got to move in order to make them circulate, right? So if you're an adult and you're not moving like you used to. See, when we were younger, them younger children, they could bounce back because they had recess. They was playing football, basketball, you know, running to the corner or whatever. But if you're an adult and you just go to work, you're sitting down, you get up, you go to your car, you go home, you cook, you sit down, you watch TV, you go to bed, you're not really moving your lip noise like you used to, right? And then you put an antiperspirant to clog up your armpit so you can't release. Or you put your deodorant on there that is too high of a pH balance, then, then, then how are you gonna move the lip noids? How they gonna move? Cause they gotta move. Just like your blood gotta flow, your lip noids gotta move, especially if you're not exercising. So this here is really a part of the reason why a lot of people are full of shit. Literally, this is why. Because we clog this up and we clog this up with unnecessary things. And then we're clogging our mind up with unnecessary things. Then we're clogging our skin up with unnecessary things. You see? And then we're clogging our uh, vagina up. And it's, it is ha it's supposed to be a self cleaning organism, but the pH is so out of balance that it's getting clogged up too. So we're just clogged up. And that's why we're walking around wishing somebody would. Pretty much. <laughs> Let me look at these comments. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, um, bearer of risk. I appreciate that. I really do. Hey, y'all. Hey, Nubian. Let's see. Did I? I'm trying to get to the bottom. What do you mean? You see, Moss is asleep. Is it old? You know, it, it takes maybe about it. A year or so to even expire. What do you mean? What did you do to get rid of the glasses? Well, I changed my. Oh, hey, uh, Kilo. I changed my diet. I changed my diet. So the glasses issue is going to be internally. It's going to be the fact that there's too much old fecal matter. Now, for that, I was doing my detox. I have a sustained detox on my website so that it rids the body of old fecal matter that's just stubborn on the walls of um, the large and small intestines, like, right? So once you clean out the gut, but also replenish it with minerals like iron, delivering oxygen to the blood, you know? So that's what I did. I took my sustained detox, right? And so the gut in the brain, like for example, are intertwined, right? This is why we have gut feelings. Everything is connected inside. Just like everything out here is connected, like we are all connected, everything in here is gonna be connected. And so I detoxed, detoxed with my sustained detox, right? And I changed my diet, you know, I started drinking more spring water, you know, and, and and that's when I was sharing with on a previous video how I really became conscious per se because when I started cleaning up my gut it was like I was cleaning out my brain like right and so my vision my um, clairvoyancy both spiritually and physically became clear because it's, 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 it's what we we clogging it up with if we unclog it and we're no longer full of crap you know then then we're able to see again yeah, I wonder if that's my problem. Yeah, I wonder too, babe. <laughs> hey, Kilo, what you sharing? Oh, I was just talking about um, health and wellness as it pertains to the uh, skin. I say, how do you cure? Oh, I'll make whatever you're selling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my sustained detox is the thing that helped me with that there. And so my sustained detox, when I was doing, I, it wasn't sustained detox, it was just me, um, healing myself at that time so what i was doing at that time was that i was uh i had cleaned out my my cabinet from all meats and stuff so i was i went cold circuit with my journey i cleaned out all of that cereal all of that milk no cheese no that 
I was strictly eating everything in the front of the grocery store. I ain't, pay, I ain't go to no aisles. Everything in the front. I was making a meal out of it. I learned from scratch, like how to make like portobello, uh, mush, fried portobello mushrooms, because that was my go-to, because they have the texture of chicken, right? You season it like it's chicken, put some um, flour on side of that, on that thing. I put teff instead of the white. I put the teff flour and I, I, <laughs> I made me a batter and I seasoned it up with some herbs and stuff. And that was my go-to for like fried chicken, for example, like, right? I was making meals out of everything that I saw in the front, the fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables. I was putting the proper oils based upon the heating point of the oils on my food. So my go-to oil for cooking high, you know, like frying my portobellos, for example, was avocado oil. You know, I was, I, I was educated about it. I was educating myself. And so when I was eating, it was mostly salads and my meat would have been, I said that because my meat um, texture would have came from my portobello mushrooms. I was drinking um, spring water. I was doing my um, my key lime. That's why I talk about key lime, the coconut oil, consuming it because I was getting my amino acids. I was getting my um, I was getting rid of the lactic acid buildup with the key lime, and I was getting magnesium from the key lime. And the key lime, even though it is acidic, when you put it in your mouth, it converts itself when it's inside of you, and it turns it and leaves an alkaline ash inside of you. So the inside of my body was being cleansed out on top of me doing my sustained detox. So I did the whole thing. I So I, between the sustained detox and my diet, my vision became clearer and I don't wear them no more. But see, in the physical, we go to the doctor, the eye doctor, they gonna increase that prescription, you know, for you every year or so, because yeah, it's getting worse. You know why it's getting worse? Because you're still eating the same thing. That's why it gets worse. <laughs> it's gonna keep on getting worse if you keep consuming glue inside of here. Where we getting glue from? Gluten, that's the mineral inside of all the bread. So you want glue? You want to eat glue? You want it nice and sticky? Go on and eat your glue. You, if you want some mold up in there, where we getting mold from? This is this is how I was thinking about it to get myself off of these things because I knew what the ingredients was. Mold is the cheese, right? So if I wanted to have some more mold, you know, <laughs> I, I would go for the gene. But in my mind, I was, since I had became so educated, now this physical talk we're doing here, I know I talk all is mental, but I need to, I want to meet people where they are today. But if we call things what they are before we put them in our mouth, we will help ourselves. This is how I did it. Helping myself to stop eating that stuff. Do I want to eat an animal? Do I want to eat a dead animal today? I would say to myself, nah, I don't want a dead animal. Let the animal live. I would say to myself, you know? So I'm not gonna eat a dead animal for breakfast. I'm gonna find something. There gotta be something that I can eat for my breakfast that's not a dead animal. And there's gotta be something that's not cow pus, AKA milk. You know, this is how I weaned myself up because I called it what it was. I don't want no glue. I don't want no glue on my sandwich. I'm gonna just eat the sandwich without the glue. Meaning, I'm going to eat the sandwich without the bread. Use what it takes to trick your mind, to reprogram that mind. Because it's really a mental game to get out of that rut of putting all of that stuff inside of here. Because you, we willingly put it in. We willingly do it with the fork. We put it in there. Don't, so don't be crazy when, when you have a whole bunch of critters that's growing, you know, having a little field day. The little parasites that's walking out up in there. Because we put it in there. So we got to stop. We got to take care of our avatar in the physical reality too, because it really, really matters. It really matters. It's going to show outside as within, so without, right? It's going to show. It's going to show in how you feel. And so if you make the connection of how you feel, if you sit down with yourself also after you eat a certain meal, you sit down with yourself, you'll see, wait, hold up. When I eat the steak and potato, because this is the type of things I said my, to myself. When I eat the steak and potato, damn, I get so tired. I be wanting to go to sleep. And then I started to find that it was so ignorant to, to be sitting up there saying, man, I don't know what that was, but it sure tastes good. I started to find it sounding kind of crazy. Like, what the hell? 
I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was, but I ate it though. I mean, if you really think about some of the things that we be saying when we be consuming food, you know, this is this, this is my little this is my little silent killer. Oh, I know I'm gonna gain these pounds. You know, you pay attention to that. I know it ain't good for me, but give me some more. You know, like what? Like you pay attention to that kind of stuff, and then you you try to, you try to stop. You try to do better one day, and I just wanted to do better. And it what really did it for me. It was one day I was out. It was my son's birthday. We went to Audubon Zoo out in New Orleans, Louisiana, the Audubon Park or whatever. And um, my stomach was hurting me so bad that day, man. Oh, my stomach. I had a big bolt of something. I didn't even know because I wasn't held conscious this year time. But in hindsight, I knew I was full of shit. But, <laughs> but my stomach was hurting me so bad. And me and my son, we had on our little camouflage outfits. We were dressed alike. And that's what he had wanted to do for his birthday. So uh, we were going there and climb. He wanted to climb trees. You know, do what boys do and run and all that. And I'm like, I'm trying to keep up and, and acting like I'm having fun. But, you know, energy don't lie. My son knew that I wasn't having, you know, that much fun and all. And so <laughs> he turned around and he was like, Mom, what's wrong with you? You're not fun like you used to be. Is it because you're getting old? You know? And it, it, it took that. It took the love that I had for him. The love that I have for myself. To love that, you know, find your reason why. You know, the love that I have to want to be in his life. And see my grandchildren if I ever have some in the physical reality, right? And so that was my reason why. And I said to myself, before my children leave this home as their mother, I want to show them different. I want to break this generational curse here of, of ignorance, per se. You know, of the lack of knowledge, per se. And I dare to do better. And in the beginning, they were with me because that meant that they had to change something, too. And most people don't be wanting to embrace change, like, right? So in the beginning, they were like, Mom, what do you doing i just want to eat my nuggets why are you taking the nuggets from me you know but i incorporated them into the lifestyle change by telling them you know the benefits of certain things by having so many vibrant colors in the kitchen and it's teaching them that they needed color on their plate like right and in, in letting them taste certain exotic fruits and letting me know should we buy more of this letting their opinions kind of matter because i wanted them to be involved in it so maybe even if they don't stay you know become vegans or whatever they, they'll know or they'll have a foundation of what health and wellness does look like outside of eating meat all the time outside of dairy products all the time and they'll know how to take care of their body They'll know it and they'll be to learn that from their mama, you know, because the world ain't going to really teach this kind of stuff. They don't have many people. See, they don't see. I, I get a whole bunch of people up in here when I'm talking about craziness or well, I don't want to talk about craziness. But <laughs> if I was talking about craziness, I have a whole bunch of people up in here. I have a whole bunch of people up in here. If I was talking about the black man or the black woman or all kind of crazy stuff like right. But, but when you start talking about what you need to do to change, people don't be wanting to hear that, right? So I had to teach it to my children because the world outside, nobody really want to even talk about this because it's not the thing that's going to go viral. Nobody don't want to talk about this because they know nobody don't really want to do this thing here. But this here is my passion. So I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to tell it on the mountain. And I'm going to help you heal your skin. I'm going to help you heal your avatar body on the inside and the outside. Because I know that deep down inside, you're God. But it's kind of hard for you to tap into consciousness when you're itching and twitching and bitching. You know, it's kind of hard for you to listen to me when I'm talking about the mental side of it. Until you get rid of that shit that you're full of. It's going to be hard for you to hear me. It's going to be probably even hard for you to see me. Because you have the wide focus on it, because your gut is so messed up that you can't even see me. See me. You know what I mean? So I need you to be clear. I need you to have your clear mind because we're God. We create world. But we at some of us are at our lower selves. And, and all I'm teaching in every aspect of the way is how to increase your frequency and get a little higher. And this is another way that you can get a little higher. Because that's what it's all about, getting a little higher. Get a little high about what you put in your, in your body. Get a little high about moving or exercising. Get a little high about putting what you put on your body. By what you put on your body, just get a little higher. Get a little higher with the way that you think. Get a little higher. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, somebody said my armpits. Wait, wait. I lost it. God darn it. My armpits hurt, I think she said. But natural deodorant. 
God dang it. God dang it, I lost the, the comment. Something about, um, oh, there you go. My arm gets hurt. But natural deodorant makes me itch and burn. Yeah, because of the ingredients probably inside of it. Um, the natural deodorant, um, the key thing that you really want to have in that, your natural deodorant is some maybe some citrus something well um citrus scent kind of like you want to look for the citrus scent you want to look for us magnesium magnesium is really the thing that it helps the um armpit um detox okay you want to make sure that they have some kind of something that say magnesium maybe magnesium chloride up inside of that like right and the reason why they probably heard is because like i was saying underneath your armpit they have a whole gang of um lip noise right there right so that means that they probably clogged up that means that they need to move. They mean that they need that citrus um, side of it or pH balance to your deodorant, right? So, Nubian, to be honest with you, I believe if outside of my product, I believe that key limes will be a benefit for you. Like slicing up a key lime and using it underneath your armpit to get rid of that hurt key limes or like I said they're aesthetic until you put them in your body and drink it and it turns into something alkaline so once you put a key lime you know under the armpit I think let me see something I think yeah because I have key limes all the time I made I made key lime aid so when I save the um I save them after I squeeze I save them so I don't know but this is a key lime, the small green key lime, like right? And I've already squeezed the juice out of this, right? Because I used this already. Um, I made me a, um, a herbal tea and I had some key lime juice in it. Anyway, so slice like this here. You just use this. This should, this should be your deodorant to detox that. This should be your deodorant to get rid of that hurt, to get things flush. Rinse your underneath your arm with water, nothing else. And put you some key lime underneath that for a couple of days. Get rid of that hurt to unclog that because you need the, the lip noise to flow, babe. You really do. You really do. It, it has a lot to do with your health and wellness. Let's see. Okay. Kilo says he meets and dairy is Lord. I love it. See, yeah. Well, you love it. What I would do in the beginning is I would cut back on how much of it I had. That's the trick that you could do. You know, you you still love your meat. Have some of your meat. About this much of the pie of your meat. But everything else, let it be vegetables, let it be live food, let it be color on your plate. Start there. At least start the process of making the portion of the plate with the meat small. I'm not saying become a vegan. I'm just saying that you need to have a balance. And so the rest of your plate needs to have something that's going to detox your body out. At least you be full of crap. If the plate, if it's the plate on the plate, they got a big burger on a plate with meat, cheese, bread, then what, 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 what's, what's going what's gonna to get that moving besides the water you drink? So you got to have, because the herbs, you know, the herbs is really the thing that helps clean the sides of the, you know, the large and small intestines to cleans up the liver to keep the kidneys filtering. It'd be the herbs that's doing that because of how leafy, you know, they are on the side or how bitter they are. Even the bitter ones are the better ones, actually. So if you don't have no lettuce, some people get the burger, don't even want to get the lettuce, the tomato, the pickle. Put some kale on it, you know? Try eating with one bun instead of two buns, you know? Try skipping the cheese. Try half of the patty and set up the whole patty. Chop, chop the half, half of the, cut the patty in half chop the half up and make little chunks on the burger. You know, it's different ways to a tricks to gradually go in that health, healthier direction. If you wanna go that old kilo, if you wanna go. Yeah, 
Like anything from cows and large quantities mess up the body. I'm speaking from experience. Yeah, it really does, Nubian. Yeah, I'm speaking from experience too. It really does. It really does. And large quantities, it's going to mess you up. It's getting worse because I'm a sucker for the accent. Oh my God, this dude he is funny. I love cows, jeez, but half of the world can't even digest it, including me. Yeah, we never would have been able to digest it. And then so when we get so full of it, so full of crap, then they say we are lactose intolerant. We were never tolerant of it to begin with. It never was something that we were supposed to be indulging into this capacity, but it's being really forced. Because if you watch TV, I don't watch it, but when I used to, I know they have commercials on there. And so I see billboards if I'm on the road and you'll see this big juicy burger and it's cheese galore on there. When you go to fast food places, you want cheese on that? You know, everything, cheese, cheese, extra cheese, extra bacon, extra, extra, double stacker, you know, double, double, double. It's being forced on you to want more. So that's why it's so important in this journey to have a powerful mindset because you, you're being manipulated outside of there. That's why I thought of a way to manipulate my own thoughts by telling myself what those things were. You know, we don't want to move the cheese today. No, no, no. You supposed to be the one manipulating the thoughts. Stop letting people or TV, billboards, or what other things you see out there manipulate what you can do. Yeah. So. Yeah. The me thing is just that. I'm correcting that now. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Just, just, just cut back. Just cut it back. Just bring it on back. Especially, or, or start. For me, I started with pork chops and steak. Because those was my two favorites. That's why I had the glasses, pork chops and, and steaks and potato. I cook steak and potato probably twice a week. I love me some steak and potato. And I was tired, dog tired after I ate it. And I, but I, I had the best steak and potato though. And that was just something that I was enjoying the taste of, but not the feel of. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for saying that I need to change my perspective. Yeah, definitely. Just call it what it is. And then you will stop wanting to go to it. That's what I did. The taste buds will just dry all up. Yeah, well, you don't feel bad. You pray hard as you eat. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well... That's beautiful. Let's see. That's an easy way not to eat the stuff anymore. Yeah, it really is. Oh my God, I say that all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, please go. It's easy. <laughs> That's cute. <key. laughs> that damn kilo is so funny. <laughs> They buy mostly for the men. I think that is so cool. I'm so thankful. They just touched my heart because that's really part of my passion too. I really enjoyed that live. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, let's see. Especially coming from Louisiana, just me. Yeah, of course. You know, with the soul food and everything, it was everywhere. And so I was just like so different to everybody. They looked at me like so strange, like, right? Because when I got really into it, you know, I stopped eating the crawfish and stuff. And, you know, they had, they love crawfish, like, right? And they're looking at me like I'm crazy. But in my mind, I had programmed my perspective of it. Like, man, y'all sitting up here eating stuff from the family of cockroaches. Why are y'all eating cockroaches? Like, right? In my mind, I did that for me. For me. For me to not want to peel a damn cockroach. Now, them cockroach, because of the seasoning, the flavor, smell really, really good. And I used to get, like... For my own self, I used to get like seven pounds of it. But these are like bottom feeders. I, I, I educated myself on everything that I was eating. They're the bottom feeders. The, the catfish, the cockroach, these are the things that supposed to, that were designed in a physical reality to clean up the oceans and stuff. The oysters, you put an oyster in a, in a tub of, of 
filthy, toxic water, the oyster is going to absorb, absorb all of the bacteria and, and, and viruses and stuff. But we just put it on the stove and, you know, put little sh um, cheese and seasons and stuff on it and we churn our oysters. And, and, and that's what we did in the South, you know, and, and that's what we loved in the South. But we were eating toxic food, the lowest of the low, the bottom feeders, and wondering why we can't get high. <laughs> wondering why, you know, why we're wearing glasses. Wondering why after years, you know, I know men, 20s and even 30s with erectile issues because of me, you know, selling detoxes and stuff. And then, you know, coming to me saying, hey, we, we could work for this year. Young men, young men, and it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that at all. That's, that's not a good thing at all. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, well blessed, thank you for being here. I'll do that. Yeah, newbie, and try it out. Try it out. I buy them bags too, at a time. Oh, okay, well that's good, Kilo. I mean, Kilo, you already really know you already know what to do. Your thing is what you choosing to do and when you won't do it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's see. Okay, I drink two cups of herbs and slippery elm and key lime juice every day. Okay, yeah, I used to do um, slippery elm when I first started my journey. That, that sounds so refreshing to hear. Yeah, I haven't had slippery elm in a long time. Now, I, like I say, I go for the gangster herbs kind of like like the sour sour that's really my man sour sour is just so powerful to me the sour saps of the world the, you know dandelion is really bitter though the um yellow dog the burdock the bladderack things like that i go for those you know when i make my little teas and stuff like that the uh, nettle yeah those are the herbs that i i, I really really love but slippery elm is good and slippery elm would help Cause it's slippery, it helped me with my bowel movements. But <laughs> I I feel like sweet tamarind. It, I'm saying this in, in because slippery elm being that it's slippery per se, we have actually real fruits that are designed to do that to help you with your beneficial bacteria in your gut and the beast it's tacky and so being that it's tacky it's going to stick to things that's on the walls of your intestines so here's some things for that like dates sweet tamarind and um what is it in uh agave these things here these three they're really, really jam-packed with a lot of minerals, right? They're really, really tacky, and they have a sweetness to them, too, so, right? So, that, that tackiness is going to help, like, parasites getting trapped inside of that. can help bulk up, kind of like, and they're going to help with fiber. So, it's going to bulk up that bowel movement, and make it tacky, and allow it to pass out of you. Those kind of things that help you, too, Kilo, with vision. Yeah. And it's, you know how they talk about the little acidophilus peel that we should consume? Well, that's, that beats acidophilus on any day because it's going to leave you beneficial bacteria in your gut. It's beneficial fiber. It's organic, okay? And it's going to give you other minerals for your body, you know, iron and zinc and magnesium, the things that you need because that's what you're made of, you know, from dust thou art and dust thou shalt return, the dust or the ground, the earth is made of these minerals. That's why we need those minerals in lieu of the acidophilus little white thing that the cultures that come from the guts of the uh, cows and stuff like that. <laughs> so we're gonna leave the animals, no bacteria alone, and we're gonna get our own. <laughs> we're gonna create our own from nature, from the same thing that the animals consume to get their gut up to par. We're gonna get our own from there. Yeah. Man, I am Corey. Somebody is doing that. I know. A lot of people have been telling me that. And I reported them too. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do, but mentally believe that all is well and they hope 
I'm hopeful that nobody's being naive and they're not asking nobody for like no money or nothing like that. But yeah, I know you guys that are here, somebody, I have two pages. This is the only real one that I have. But I think there's another one with a, with a number two behind it. And then when I put in God is just be, I saw all kind of God is just be. It's like a God is just be twin and everything. But I don't come in y'all DMs trying to offer y'all stuff. I don't want, I don't ask for no banking stuff. If, if I ever say anything, it's leading y'all maybe to my website to try my products. But I don't ask for handouts and all of that. And I'm sorry y'all going through that, but it's not me. And report them. If you see somebody asking you to be my your friend and, you know, they have my name, could you report them with me, please? In that way, my report plus maybe y'all report. Maybe they'll get them out of here. Maybe TikTok will do something then. But I don't know what else to do. But thank you for saying that here. Yeah. Getting vegetables every day is a struggle. Yeah. Because it's, so, it's, it's, a, it's about the time that we all should be growing our own. You know, that's where we're evolving to. Where we're going back to nature. You know. So yeah, it's, it is a struggle. So yeah. That's why it's time to get off that meat now. Because you think it's a struggle when we go that you're going to be going through trying to wean off a of heat i mean uh, wean off of me it being hot as i don't know what you can't find food and you don't have nothing in the backyard that you could go and munch on yeah so now is the time to prepare for that to prepare for us as a collective consciousness evolving because we evolve into another state of being kilo listen to the messages now so it won't be a struggle back later for you Oh my God, bacon and ground beef. But here's the thing, just me. Here's the thing. Bacon, just me saying that, just made me kind of nauseous, like a gag in the back of my mouth, like throwing up on my own spit. Like, <laughs> because after you get off of that kind of stuff, it stinks to you. It's almost like a person that um, smokes cigarettes, you know, and after they quit, they can't stand to be around other smokers. Yeah, because you don't smell it. When you eat it all the time, because it be inside of you, it'll be all in, you know, pores and everything. But bacon low, when I was working still in corporate America and people go and warm up the lunch and stuff and it was bacon, I'm like, oh my God, you're going to eat that? I never say that to them, but I kind of like felt that because of my new program and because I had purged my body of the bacon already, you know, so... Yeah, I, but I remember I used to love me some bacon and I used to love me some pork chops and I loved me some steaks. Oh my God, I did. But now, no, I don't want that. It's crazy. I was a little, in a little turkey neck eating somebody too. Oh yeah. <laughs> the kilo so you get on my damn nerve. Kilo, you are so funny. You are so funny. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, man okay i love shrimp so much though yeah that's the little cockroach family yeah my roots are in nola and it's even harder to let go of the seafood oh yeah i know them little cockroaches them little cockroaches in nola be good though i know <laughs> we are the same person oh y'all vibing over that kilo and nubian that's funny hi v dot let's see pork is terrible for us also even more than some other eats yeah yeah just me uh, they eat any and everything. And not only that, the pork got... Uh, I don't want to start that conversation. It got some things in there that will make you kind of cannibalistic. <laughs> I'll leave it like that. Hey, Crazen. I see you. Where do you buy your sour sap? Um, My sour sap. Let me see if the name on there. I got it right here. Wait. Oh. Nope. The name not on there. I put it in another zip lock. I remember the name. It's called Bodies and Butters, I think. Bodies and Butters. I got it from Etsy. E T S Y dot com. And it's a company called Bodies and Butters, I'm thinking. I think it's something like that. But well, go to Etsy. They have it on um at on Etsy. This is, I need to order some more because I put mine in this little in this little Ziploc bag here because I was down to my last because I ended up giving. I'm always trying to help people and I gave somebody my whole bag and I just took I just took this here little piece here out for me and I was like I'll buy some more. But you need to start doing that. And so the name was on there. 
But yeah, go to Etsy.com. That's where you can get Sour Stop from. Sour Stop is, is the one. That's the super one. Man, it's so good. And then you make your little tea with it. You boil some. I love to do Sour Stop tea. And I'll put some agave as a sweetener. And um, I'll squeeze a little half a bit of a little key lime in there. And I put a little teeny pinch of pink Himalaya sea salt as minerals. And while my tea is hot, I'll do like a half a spoon of um, coconut oil and let it melt in the hot tea. And oh, you got everything going on. You got your amino acids, you got your superfood, you got your, your um, key lines, taking care of that lactic acid buildup and, and cleaning out the lymphatic system and cleaning that blood. You got all the minerals that's in your pink Himalaya sea salt, 84 plus minerals, you know, to electrify your body. You got your electrolytes going, boy, it's gonna be a good day. It's going to be a good day. <laughs> yes, it is going to be a good day, Kay. Yep. Let's see. Uh, I know exactly what you mean. I cringe every time my spouse makes it. Oh, really? Oh, you're talking to somebody else. I got all those except our sauce, but I still eat wrong. You're going to get a you know, peace and love. Hi. Hi, Ari. Hey, Big T. No. No, I don't, um, crazy. I reported them too. Oh, thank you so much, Big T. Hey, I got hit up by the other one too. Dang, that person is really trying to grow their page, huh? And it's all me on their page. And I guess they're getting some of the likes over there too, huh? Bless their heart. That's funny. I mean, bacon and ground beef were the ones I had to fight to stop eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. We all have one. I had, I had two. Like I said, the pork chops and them sticks. Lord, that mercy. So no, I don't eat that um, crazy. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I did. Did I answer everything? Yes, I'm learning how to grow my own food now. The most I got is herbs, but it makes my heart happy. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful, Tammy. Yeah, I adore your voice and energy. Oh, thank you, Shay. Yeah, thank you. If it's sour or bitter, I can't stomach it. I can't do wormwood. I can barely do burdock. Yeah, you know why. And so your body gets to that place where it's in the beginning, it'll, because you, we can become or be so toxic that when we do, <laughs> consume something like a bitter herb that's gonna move things around and kill parasites then it's almost kind of like the parasites that took over so much they're like they repel it like they make you feel some kind of way your body starts to get sick you know you get that um so-called die-off effect when you start detoxing the body it's the same equivalent so yeah of course that's gonna happen in the beginning of course of course it's gonna happen in the beginning. You ain't gonna like it in the beginning. In the beginning, I didn't like nothing I was eating, but I ate it because I had a reason why. And my reason why trumped, you know, all of the, the bitterness that I was experiencing in my mouth that was gonna be temporary. My reason why was my family. My reason why I was breaking generational curses and that was enough. So now like the other day, I don't, I don't care for dandelion still. But the other day, I juiced me some dandelion, and I had me some dandelion juice. It was nasty as I don't know what. It was nasty. It was so nasty that the kind of nasty that I ain't even gonna put no agave and waste my agave in this nasty stuff. Let me just get this here little nasty stuff down, go ahead on dandelion, clean out my, you know, whatever I got up in that liver, clean out my kidneys, get me right. I'm gonna just go ahead and drink here, chug it down down, and, and then drink me some water and get my taste buds back. I don't like it. Sometimes we, you know, we got to eat to live. Sometimes we got to eat things for our body. Take it for the team. Do it for the, do it for the liver. Do it for the kidney. <laughs> do it for the skin. Do it for your children. Yeah, sometimes we got to do those kind of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. But anyway, that was the um, just of this particular video, talking about the skin being the largest organ on the body, letting you know that my um, my website will be open on August 1st and fully stocked with all of my 
products. The skin is the largest organ which you put on you, penetrates inside of you. So make sure you're putting things that are pH balanced, that don't have sodium hydroxide in there, aka lye, oven cleaner. You don't want that. You don't want your children to be consuming that. This is why we are so stuffed with toxins. Our skin is the largest one. So now our organs gotta fight that. So all the sour sop in the world, if your skin is constantly getting zest so, if your skin is constantly getting toxic ingredients all day, the sour sop, all of it in the world, the key lines, all of it in the world, the, the burdock, all of it in the world, you gonna constantly keep having to take it every darn day. Cause you keep constantly putting toxins back in your body. All right? So, Thank you. Thank you for adoring my voice. Thank you. It's part of my passion, babe. I used to not even talk at all. And I'm so proud of me and my journey. I didn't want to speak, but now I'm walking in my passion and I'm thankful for every time somebody said it to you, love my voice. Because I guess, to be honest with you, I've grown to love it too. I used to actually hate it, but I've grown to love it. I used to actually run from it speaking, but I'm, I've grown to just come on here and just press the button and share my knowledge, share my um, my heart, share my life with the world or with TikTok or with whoever. <laughs> so I really thank you from the bottom of my heart, baby. If it's our, if it's sour and bitter, can't some oh, okay, I read that one. So anyway, that's it, that's the video. I'm hopeful you learned something and I'm hopeful maybe, you know, next week um, on Monday when I go live with all of my products, you and your family will try it because you won't regret it because it was made first of all with love and so all is mental first this is physical stuff i talked about on this particular video but all is mental first baby and mentally i blessed all my products with love because that's all that i have to give people will only give you what they have inside of you and i give you love i give you passion i give you me <laughs> thank you this video was from my heart to yours be blessed baby